Joining us now to give us some insight into this incident is our chief medical editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Dr. Nandy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Now, we're not showing the hit itself, but many people who are watching the game say it looked like a routine tackle. Explain to us what cardiac arrest is and, you know, is, is it different than a heart attack? And how does something like this even happen? Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, I was watching uh, the footage like everybody else, and it's amazing what happened. So here's your first question, cardiac arrest. The, as it sounds, the heart stops, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that you have a heart attack. We know about heart attack when blood flow to the heart stops and and and, and the heart can have damage. In this case, it appears to be that the, the player uh, actually made a tackle. The, the force was at, into the chest. There's a condition called commotio cordis. C O M M O T O I O T I O Cortis, where young athletes can get trauma to the chest. It doesn't have to always be as as hard as it was last night. And if you hit the heart, the area of the heart at the particular rhythm of the heart, you can go into what's called ventricular fibrillation, which means that the heart just fibrillates and doesn't beat. You may not have a pulse. You suddenly collapse. If you watch the footage, the player suddenly collapses. The great thing about this is that they were able to resuscitate him almost immediately. I mean, you don't ever want to have anything, anything like this happen, but the key was the, 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 the rapid rate of the medical personnel coming in and resuscitating him. They used an AED, and they were able to, from what I could uh, gather, have a pulse when he was leaving the stadium. So it's, it's important. He may have had in some, some underlying uh, cardiac disease. We don't know any of this. this is all conjecture, but... Typically in young athletes like this, there's a condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Fancy word where the heart is thicker than normal. That could also be contributing to this. But it but it appeared to be that he had a blunt force to the chest leading to him becoming unresponsive. It didn't seem like a head injury. It seemed like a cardiac issue. And one of the most, you know, when you think about this, commotion cordis comes to mind. Uh, his mm -hmm. agent, I believe, said that he was had a normal pulse and it was intubated, meaning it was, had a breathing tube. And, and this is very common. The, the key to me is that, did he have sustained injury due to the lack of oxygen? He was down for over nine or 10 minutes. Uh, but the fact that they got to him very quickly was critical. All right, well, that is a fantastic insight. Still so many questions, of course, about, uh, about Hamlin and his prognosis, and we'll wait to hear from uh, the uh, medical care he's getting down there at the University of Cincinnati about how things look going forward. But Dr. Nandy, thank you so much for sharing your insight with us. Uh, Chief Medical Editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, waking up early to give us uh, a look at uh, what happened last night. Thanks again. My pleasure.